Trees and grass, plants and flowers are nourished by the summer rain and sun. When we gather together here on Sunday, our faith is nourished by the Lord through word and sacrament. Let us pray that we may be rich soil for the word of God to take root, bloom, and thrive across the earth. Welcome to St. Timothy's Catholic Church in Walkersville, Maryland. Today we are celebrating the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time on July 11th and 12th, 2020. Celebrating with us today is our pastor, Father Juan Vasquez Rubio. Our mass is being offered for Paul Guliano, Gerald Glickman, and the Jackson Longo family. is shouting for joy come dance in the forest come play in the field and sing sing to the glory of the lord praise for the sun the bringer of day he carries the light of the lord in his rays the moon and the stars light up the way unto your throne are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these holy mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, at the right hand of the Father. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are counted Christians, the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive 
after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, shall be my, so, shall be my, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is Lightning the eye. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than syrup. Or honey from the cone. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. is the word of God, Christ is the sower. 
All who come to him will have life forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. On that, on that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when, he, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it was withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold, whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The prophet Isaiah proclaims that the Word of God is as effective as a rain or snow. It always produces results. That certainly cannot mean that the Word of God automatically brings conversion of heart. Otherwise, our world would not be as flawed as it is. Isaiah is talking about God's Word as the start of our dialogue. He's saying that God desires and initiates relationship with all of human beings, his creation. Our God speaks to us in our own language, inviting us into communion. Once heaven reaches out to earth, the horizon has changed, and earth can never be the same. The coming of the Word of God invites humanity into the possibility of relationship with God, something that no person can achieve on her or his own. It is important to notice that once God has spoken to humanity, humanity's options are no longer limited by materiality and more mortality. The very fact of having the option to commune with God changes everything. The word of God addressed to humanity makes us free to accept or reject the love of God. We do not generate the word any more than we can command the rain. It comes to us unbidden, opening a fruitful horizon that we, can, that we are free to explore or ignore. Whatever our response, the Word has fulfilled its inviting function. Whether or not we accept the offer, the possibility, will forever be there. In the Gospel, Jesus told a parable, a teaching with more to it than meet the eye. A parable never fits in one simple lesson plan. The Word that comes from God requires an answer and this is at the center of Jesus' teaching. Every disciple who has ears to hear must realize that there is a vocation, a call, involved in fruitful hearing. We continue in the process of learning how to be disciples, true Christians. The key to the whole story is that the good soil was receptive. We see what that means by looking to the disciples who admitted that Jesus 
had confused them. Why do you speak to them in parables? was a question that really meant we don't get it. That was exactly the attitude they needed for Jesus to be able to break through them. For the seed of his word to go deep into inner space, they opened with their questions. As the planting and harvesting were ongoing activities, so too the word of God comes again and again. Bringing, begging to be heard. Those in whom the word has taken root are called to be seeds for the next planting and grain to feed the hungry. Jesus' parable about planting seeds in soil invites us to think about, more about what happens to us when we hear the word of God and accept the challenge to enter into communion with God and one another. Accordingly, Isaiah's poetry and Jesus' parable tell in complementary ways the part of God's word. Isaiah extols its fruitfulness, the Lord promising that it will flower just as the fertile earth does when watered by rain or snow. Isaiah tells us that the word comes as an invitation to allow God to permeate our life as water saturates soil. Jesus tells of the sower, those indiscriminate scattering of the word of the kingdom leads to different outcomes depending on where it lands. Jesus promises that if we allow the seed of the word to grow in us, the results will be countless. Today, we are invited to become good soil for the Word of God and be fruitful disciples. As we gather around this altar with bread and wine brought to us by the fruit of the earth and the hard work of human hands, this become the bread of life in our spiritual drink, transforming our lives to produce fruit a hundred, sixty, or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Make it of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Inspired by the Word of God, we turn now to the Lord with our needs and the needs of our sisters and brothers around the world. For the church, that we may emulate the model of the sower and the 
that the seed we sow may produce good fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who suffer from systemic persecution, oppression, and discrimination, that justice and righteousness may overcome sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the thorns of disease, hunger, and poverty that have a chokehold on the most vulnerable may be cleared away, thereby allowing the fruits of God's goodness to flourish in all corners of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those most affected by the coronavirus, those with the, without the resources or ability to overcome the effects of this pandemic and its socioeconomic repercussions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have been welcomed into the church, that they may continue to grow in faith and holiness and be a light to us all of the constant renewal of the body of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who cannot join us in celebrating the Eucharist, the hospitalized, and the homebound, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our sister parish, St. Jerome in Haiti, that they may receive the spiritual and material blessings they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, and for all the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of all, who turn to you, we turn to you in our time of need. Still your word evermore deeply in us so that we may bear fruit to be shared with others. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Seeds scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God, vine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all the living cup the living bread of God is not the bread we break a sharing in our Lord is not the cup we bless the blood of Christ out Pray that these our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and, and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and crown that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. 
Therefore, we too extol you with all the same angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray you by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many for their forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church is spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy in us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him, with him, and him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Confidence, let us call upon our God of Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will will even reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Take away. 
This is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having, received, having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, his saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you. In our daily living, dying and rising, we belong to you. In the waters of your mercy, becomes the new souls united in the mystery we belong to you we belong to you O Lord of our longing we belong to you in our daily living dying and rising we 